Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at my favorite brand of fifth wheel toy hauler. My opinion, this is the perfect combination of quality and price. This is the 2023 Alliance Valor model 36 V11. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Valor and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you guys the 36 V11 before I begin. Gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What happened? It's cold. It is freezing cold in the middle of summer. Um, no, I mean it's not it's not terrible, but it is 59 degrees here. Wow. Which makes for a great recording day. It's better than 95 degrees yeah. in Florida. Yep. Um, I'm so excited to take a look at this. You guys know we love Alliance. Uh the Valor, like Matt said, it's it's the perfect combination. Um yeah, I can't wait to show you guys. And I can't wait to meet everybody in the next couple weeks at right. the RCRV. So Jen. Show everybody where we're going to be right there. That's where we are on the map. And we do represent Alliance at the show. Will, let's begin. All right. Model is 36 V11 Valor. The actual tip tip length of this fifth wheel is 39 feet, eight inches. The dry weight is 14,208 pounds. The hitch weight's 2,995 pounds. Will, this is the Valor. This is a beautiful fifth wheel. Painted fiberglass front cap. Love the little A. And Will, notice the A right there in the middle? Yeah. The Valor was inspiration behind my orange Delta. Ah. But technically, I don't have my orange Delta right now, so hopefully it looks like that. Right. I'm like, I'm like Brian, make my A orange. Um, painted fiberglass front cap. Full body paint is an option. You know okay. What I'm um, the full body paint looks great on these two. Yes, right here we do have a very nice Kurt Rotoflex pin box. Okay. Okay. And make sure you guys stick around and hear the MSRP. We got a really important message about that. Yes. Right here we do have really nice storage. Uh, your 40 amp charge controller, six point hydraulic auto leveling reservoir. Very okay. nice. Storage here, batteries. The lithium battery. Yep. Nice. And then right here you got your own AM 5500 generator. There you go. Coming on down, again, the six point hydraulic auto leveling, which is very nice. Yep. Right over here, we got your propane tank. Okay. Sewer hose uh, holder underneath there. Okay. And then here, we have decent storage for a toy hauler. Definitely not the best, definitely not the worst. Power and coax for a TV on the outside. You can see the lithium batteries. There's a 12 volt uh, compressor, 101 inch wide body and top core PVC roofing, Will. I've had enough. Okay. They're promoting Rudy. Yeah. They need another sticker that says liquefied <laughs> and has a, you know? It doesn't come with liquefied though. Right, that's what I'm saying, like liquefied on board. Oh, yeah, like they need to start exactly, including it. Exactly, exactly. Coming on down here, we have a very nice power awning with LED lights. No awning on the slide out. Okay. Coming on down, we have these very nice slippered solid steps Hydraulic assisted, you know what nice. I'm saying? Big grab handle to get in and out. Warranty for full time RV and Asdell. Asdell is a composite and it will never delaminate on you. Okay. Coming on down, Will, tell us a little bit about these running gears before we look at the tires. Yeah, for sure. So, one of my favorite things is attached to the I beam, they're using a two inch torsion tube, which helps disperse that weight from the axles. Uh, 7,000 7, pound axles. You can upgrade to eight. You can, yep. yep. Um, they're using heavy duty wet bolts and thick, sh thick shackles and wet bolts. Um, super G rated 4,400 pound tires and the Moride Series 3000 all. Basically what that means is it's top of the line running gear. That's the foundation to the coach. That's what's very important to make sure everything else rides smooth. Love it. Right here, we do have speakers on the outside. Okay. And then look at these tires. Well, they're the Sterlings. I love those. 235-85R16. Very nice. And then this is a two axle fifth wheel, six yep. point leveling. Will womp womp. No solid steps here. Right. But 
you don't get that in the toy hauler right the garage area and at least give me the, the aluminum exactly yeah you know very nice right there well what was behind there um i think that side's storage it might be the air compressor though. okay yeah i think that's the air compressor on this side as okay. well okay i couldn't remember if it's on this side or the other side it's all one of the sides yep coming around back will we do have a very nice ramp door okay um nice awning right there a third awning lights on the outside prepped for the uh backup camera okay and if you guys haven't seen our videos on the new all access series right yep a lot of people are like hey well what's the difference look at this door yep compared to that door you know what I'm yeah saying? for sure that door is a cleaner look it's a more expensive door at the end of the day well this door is going to do the same thing that that door it does is. yeah but again just little little higher end features that you see finish you up right there we do have the uh 50 amp service there okay right here's where you fill up your your fuel we actually have a, a fuel pump to fill up your toys and everything ladder to get up on the roof i love the little a's and the logo you know what i'm saying right also if you guys play pickleball it's also the logo for uh eula yeah something like that all right that's the pickleball paddle that i use that's my pickleball paddle of choice there you go jen show a picture of me kicking your butt bing, at pickleball this weekend she probably won't be able to find one dang because it doesn't exist it will exist because we're playing pickleball this weekend so jen bing, please show that picture of me smoking you with my eula paddle and <laughs> i went with that paddle well because it did look like the alliance logo right uh it's just how much i love alliance right there well that's where you're dumping our tanks okay right there yep oh and jen respectfully if you did beat me this weekend you could post that picture like fair fair is fair i think that's more likely water heater right here well do you know what a homer is no you're a homer right here we got gray tanks black tanks water filtration systems potable water fill potable potable outdoor shower a homer will is somebody who like thinks they're like an orioles fan right uh, it's just like yeah dude i know you love your team but they're not the best you know what i'm saying <laughs> you're a homer. i know you love your wife but i'm gonna smoke her this weekend okay <laughs> right here uh motion light on the inside as well and final announcement propane tank goes here and i love this your auto yeah. right here if you guys think we should have a pickleball tournament a max or a use pickleball right tournament, let us know because as much as i do love whipping up on jen she's also my pickleball partner <laughs> well well the outside of this fifth wheel looks great but the inside looks even better Let's go take a look. Okay. That actually would be fun. I know it would be. Check out the inside wheel. Okay. Starting up front, you got the bedroom here, bathroom right next to it. Coming down, you have your living area and kitchen. And then all the way in the back is the garage. Are we starting back here? We are starting back here, Will. Look at this garage area. First, these doors open up. The ramp door makes a patio. You got your patio rails. Not only that, you can put solid steps on your patio yeah, rails, cool. which I'm loving. 11 foot garage. You know, a lot of times when Will and I are doing RV reviews, and I'm telling you, when salespeople are on a lot with customers, customers are like, oh, I only need 11 foot garage. I need 13, I need 15. It's hard for us to identify. Yeah. Lions makes it easy. After the V, that is the size of the garage. Yeah, I love that. Look at the individual tie downs. My favorite feature. Right. Balances. MCD slow rise shades. Will lower the bed for us. Okay. While he's doing that, I want everybody to see the storage right there. Nice TV. And then Will, stick your arm over here. Okay. All right, right over here, Will, we have a mirror, nice little sink, storage underneath the sink right here. Okay. Porcelain toilet. Dang. Well, I need to get the seat open. It's on the edge. If this was the main bathroom, I would fail it, 
but since this is the half bathroom in the garage, yeah. well, this is a prime poop position. Ding! That's nice. good. Very nice. Oh no, it does need to go down a little bit more. It was just shaking a little bit, Will. Yeah, I think it needs a little grease or something. Hey, we all need a little grease. All right, that's good. Oh, these. It's locked, yeah. Nice. Just like that. Oh, so it does lock on that side. Does it? Oh yeah, I hate that. Yeah. I actually hate that. Like they should be, if you pull one side, it should pull the yep. other. Yep. Well, just like that, you got a very nice tall bunk bed table right here because when this goes all the way down well, you're able to set up a dinette. I do love that. You can also pull this down. You got your cup holders there. Nice. And then also it flips just like this. And then you set up your bunk bed area. Right. You don't need to lower this down. Right, you can just have the bottom. The toy haulers, the Swiss Army knife, uh, fifth wheels, because this can work for your office, for your garage area, for your toy hauler, for bunk beds, for your dinner space, everything. It really can, yeah. And then coming on in, Will. A washer dryer prep there as well. Yes, washer and dryer prep. Okay. Now, one thing we got a new appreciation for filming last week in yes. Tampa is this air conditioning unit. Dump mode is the absolute best thing ever invented. Yep. When, and I will admit when I'm wrong, when I first saw these air conditioning units, I was like, it's not ducted? That's stupid. Yep. No, don't duct my air conditioning ever again. Right. Dump that sucker out and cool it off. Mm -hmm. Dump mode is the best. It really is. Coming on up here, notice the flush floor slide outs. Very big atrium windows. A loft area above there. Okay. Does come with a ladder and then we have very nice storage above. Storage here. Uh-oh. Yeah, it always does that. Yep. And you always say what you want to say. Yeah. But make sure when we talk about that, we add that one thing out there. Okay. We can do a combo. One thing out where? Out there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just yeah. don't forget. Great storage all the way across. Not only that, we'll stand that slide out again. Yeah. Huge slide. Wow. Ceilings. Very nice. And then, Will, I'm chilling over here with the Kensington collection. Okay. Oh, yeah. Electric recliners. These are probably going to be manual. Yeah, but they have the flip down cup holders. I love that. Yes. Nice. And then we'll check the seat to see if the middle ones actually have off. It does. Oh, it does? Just like that. Well, very nice. And all four seats are sitting directly across from the entertainment center fireplace i'm loving that guy so that fireplace well we might need to turn it on today because right. it's so cold and by the way guys we are not complaining well look at that thermostat no yep, it's at 65. wow feels great feels amazing jbl sound system a very nice whoa ah wow very cool a very nice jensen tv right there Big screen TV, and then look at all of this storage. That storage is awesome. Yes, it is. It's for all your motocross trophies. Yeah. That you so if you're in a Valor, you're a winner. If you're in an Outer Range, you're a loser. Right, for sure. Well, well, like there ain't no trophy case in that one. Right. Well, well, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. And this is where our very important message comes out. MSRP on this unit here is stock number 287315 is $139,023. Will, that is MSRP. Sale price, we're not allowed to advertise the sale price because Alliance, they um uh they, they have advertising rules for current models. Right, right. But we sell so many alliances. Will's an alliance owner, I'm an alliance owner, and I know we can get everybody the absolute best price in America. So go to generalrv.com slash mattscast. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to us and a member of our team will get you the absolute best price in America. And make sure if your purchase decision is in the next 30 to 60 days, you to 90 days, speed that up and come to the Hershey RV Absolutely. Show or contact my team 
during the Hershey RV yes. show. Guys, we sell Alliance at the Hershey show. Fly up from Florida, place your order, pick it up in Ocala. Yeah. Call in from Michigan, place your order, pick it up in Michigan. You still get the Hershey show prices. Absolutely. And guys, we have a big goal. And so we plan on moving a lot of these. Yep. And there's one final thing I want to tell everybody before Will shows us the kitchen. They're the newest brand of toy haulers, Brinkley. Right. Brink the Brinkley Model G. It I looks great. I want no questions. Is a better unit than this. Period. So many people. The reason why I'm bringing this up. So many people are comparing the Grand Design Momentum, the Valor, the against the Brinkley. Yeah. Guys, that Brinkley's a different class. Yeah. That Brinkley is fifty thousand dollars more expensive than a Valor and a and a Grand Design Momentum. Oh, for sure. Like, so it's a better unit. With that said, this is going to accomplish the same exact thing that right, that one is. Right. Vice versa. So, what I love about RVs, well, here at General RV, we sell a variety. We sell Grand Design, Brinkley. Jayco, Forest River, Alliance, whatever brand you want. We don't like to say, well, this one's the best because we're selling it. We sell them all. Right. It's about showing you what features you're getting for what dollar amount. Yep. And that's what I absolutely love about this I unit. I agree. Will, which one would you select? You, you really want to know? No. Okay. Tell them. Show us the kitchen. Okay. We'll start right over here. Nice. I Here's what I will say, Will. I think you would select... And I would select, and they're different selections. Am I right? No. Oh, okay. Continue. Okay. Storage up top there. Nice little coffee bar here. Great backsplash. Storage right here. Here's what I will say truthfully. Yeah. I ain't buying a toy hauler. Yeah. Right. I'm not a toy hauler person. Not that, it's not that I don't like it. It's just not for me, truthfully. Storage there. I prefer more living space. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? Nice graystone microwave here. Storage right there. Okay. And storage here. Very nice. Great countertop space on both sides of the three burner Suburban. No, graystone cooktop. Very nice. Right here. You got a nice oven there. Drawers here. Storage there. And here is your stools for I'll show you later. And then you have a nice, well, nice storage up top first, and then an Everchill refrigerator here. This is a compressor, or this works off a 12 volt, so I guess it's a compressor fridge, even though it's a lot bigger. But it's nice and cold already. Yes. Uh, nice pantry right here. All right. There is storage. Oh, oh, gives me wings. Almost popped you in the face. Hey. Storage right there. Nice, another little coffee bar. You power here, you, or light there, and you do have power underneath. Great backsplash there. Nice countertops, couple drawers, and then storage right here. Hey, is Red Bull allowed to say gives you wings anymore? I don't know why. Didn't they get sued for that? Oh, maybe they did. I yeah. think they did because, like, it they doesn't have, actually give right. wings. You got nice lights up top couple drawers here and here this is actually a really good kitchen layout for a toy yeah, holder we'll really is. There. storage there nice solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen extension faucet nice big single bowl sink and this is one of my favorite things that they did nice flip up countertop there wow nice big solid surface and even with the countertops and then under here um, that's where those stools can come show in, us so show us have a little breakfast nook. Yeah, we want we want to see it well. Or oh, are they both this in plastic? Yeah. No, don't show it then. Okay. No, they're they're in plastic, guys. We want to keep it new. Yeah. But um yeah, you set up the little stool. Yep. You can eat breakfast here, you can probably work here, yeah. put the laptop out. Whatever yeah. you need. Whatever you need, that's right. All right, well, go stay in that shower. Okay. All right. Great one piece fiberglass shower surround. They're nice and wide, good depth, great height because of how big this skylight yes. is. They did that so awesome. You have a chair right there. This passes. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. That's right.
Right over here, we got a little cubby. Okay. Right, nice storage here, good sink. Yep. Underneath, nice mirrored medicine cabinet that's lit. Okay. And oh, liquefied, our brand of black tank toilet treatment. Guys, go to primepoopmusician.com to pick up a bottle. Pick one up at your local general RV center or come get a bottle at the Hershey RV show or maybe two bottles because of... Uh, Why would that be? I cannot confirm nor deny, Will. Okay. This is not a good view, but I think... Okay, there we go. You need me to do it again? No, no, no. You're oh, good. okay. Porcelain toilet. Well, this is a prime poop position. Bing! I just don't know if we're going to have them in time. I know. We'll find out. What's them? What's them? I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know. Let me know if you have an idea. Okay. As Mr. Bob Wilson would say. Yeah, it's a good idea. Bob Wilson? Yeah, idea. He always says idea. I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a good hint. Nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, is this queen size bed? It looks like it, but, but then it says, says king. king. Yeah, king size bed here. Uh, power and USB, power and USB on both sides. Windows. Lo loving the headboard and all three windows will yep. opens up. It's great. Yes, it is. That's very nice. Very nice. Right over here. We have power and you're able to have a washer dryer in the closet side by side as well. And then right here, a little bit more storage. Okay. Same on that other side. Nice TV right here. Hidden storage. Nice. And then here, we have some drawers, drawers, and drawers. Very nice. Yes, sir. And then right here underneath the bed, we got a little bit more storage. Cool. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Well, what do we do first? Three things we dislike. Well, dislike number one, even though there is an awning down there, this slide out takes up way too much space on I your agree. campsite. Yeah. Not to have an awning on the slide out. For you know sure. what I'm saying? Uh, I actually don't even think you need that rear awning. It's more important to have one right here. That's dislike number one. What's dislike number two? That was dislike number one. Will, what is dislike number two? Okay, we hinted towards it earlier. Yes. Since they won, they've done these cabinets and I've never liked it. Because they put them at an angle and then this one hits this one. It's funny, it's like they don't listen to what we're saying. Dang. Wow. That one. Yeah. And then if you come all the way across, like if you do it the opposite way, then it hits right there. You know. And then you like go to shut this one and it's going to mess that one up. Here's a, good, uh, here's a good thing. Since Jeremiah got promoted to VP, maybe he'll finally fix his dang cabinets. There you go, maybe. <laughs> And we are going to combo that with the latch on the toy hauler. The fact that, like, the one side latch, I'm cool with. But, like, that other side, yeah. that's a little ridiculous. It is. Thanks. I got your back. That is dislike number two. And then, Will, we need a dislike number third. Okay. Do you have one? Um, Yeah. Talk to me. So, this is a still a very big, more high-end fifth wheel. And I hate that they're doing the graystone little stove mm, out of here. Yeah. I think even in a toy hauler, they should be doing the four burner insignia cooktop. And you know what? You should be doing this oven in the all access. Yeah. Yes. Not in this one. I agree. 100%. 100%. That's 200%. I know. That's a lot of percentage. Well, well, that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about it. May I go first? Sure. The countertop. Yep. Guys, when the Fowler first came out, they had this atrocious epoxy pour yeah and you hated it i hated it a lot of people liked it mm -hmm. just my opinion do not like do not like the epoxy pour i much prefer this and this is alliance listening to the consumer feedback yep. because a lot of you guys agreed with me that is number one well what's like number two like number two um i love after seeing like a lot of other fifth wheel toy haulers i love yes. how they're doing this um these tie downs yep like every inch you have a spot to tie it down i just feel like that's going to give you the best chance of making sure whatever you have back here is the most secure tied down at the right spot yeah here's what i will say something that brinkley did that i really think all manufacturers need to be doing is setting up uh, a camera right there right. 
to look at your toys. I actually love that idea. Yep. Um, that is number two. And well, I'm gonna combo that with the fact of the garage sizes and the model number. Yeah. You know I'm saying? Like, that's a big deal to me. That's number two. And then, well, number three, I'm gonna go back to the basics with Alliance. Asdell, one piece yes. PVC roof, atrium windows. Three ACs. No carpets on the slide outs. And yes, the ACs without the duct work. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Those are all features that I absolutely love. And again, my opinion, this toy hauler, you're spending enough money to get something very nice, yep. but you're not getting the absolute top end. You know what right. I'm saying? Right, but you're saving a lot too. Pros and, literally, this, yep. I was telling all this off camera, this is what I love about RVs. Right. You have the all access, mm -hmm. which is significantly cheaper than this. Yep. And that's perfect for so many people. Yep. You have this unit that is substantially more, but it's still that right quality where you're getting something really good. Yep. And this is perfect for a lot of people. And then you got the new Brinkley, which is the best quality right. and the best, the best toy hauler I've ever seen on planet Earth. Yep. That competes with the um, Riverstone. And we yeah. don't even sell Riverstone, right? Right. But again, that's a different price point. It is. And what I love is there's no, there's no, hey, this is the RV you need to buy. Right. It's always formulated to what you guys want. Yep. That's why we love working with General RV, Will, because with General RV, you're able to stop all the top brands. We don't care which brand you buy. We are here to help you guys answer the questions about what's the right features for you guys. So go to generalrv.com slash matscash. Get in contact with a member of my team because my team is going to be here to help answer those tough questions That's and right. help you guys, one, get the best price in America, but two, find the best RV for you and your family. Absolutely. And make sure you guys will tell, tell, tell everybody about Hershey. Guys, make sure to come to the Hershey show. That is the best place if you're looking to buy within the next couple months. Make sure to, to come there. We're going to represent Alliance there. We're going to have all the big brands. and. Um, we're going to be giving out great pricing and we will have Matt's cash there. So um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. And make sure you stop by yep. the Matt's RV tents first. Yep. Get your Matt's cash, cash so that way you can give it to your salesperson at General RV. For sure. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for yep. watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.